play is about a city and it examines um, almost every aspect of the city you can imagine from the prisons, the government house, a monastery um, and a brothel. And essentially we follow the character of the Duke who is the ruler who feels unable to govern somehow and he goes into disguise and travels through the city and in the process in a sense, he discovers himself and is somehow reconciled to being a ruler and then takes power at the end. But in terms of the design process, this all happened quite late in the production. At the very beginning, we see, as it were, the Duke created as a personality out of the remaining characters who, as it were, almost act like a chorus through the first four acts of, of the piece. So the characters are, as it were, metamorphosed onto the stage by leaving the group, and the group remain watching throughout. The group is led primarily by the character of Barnardine, who um, we began to see as, as it were, one, a, one whole aspect of the Duke's personality, and with whom he becomes reconciled at the end. <laughs> When I first saw the cubes, I was astonished at their colour. They're like nail varnish or horse lipstick. It's the same colour. So they seem quite sinful to me, those cubes. You know, we never know what set we're going to end up with, and I'm eternally thankful to Nick Hornrod, who really takes the inspiration from the rehearsal and bases the set on what we've been rehearsing and discovering with Declan. I alighted upon these, these red boxes and for a long time didn't know what to do with them. But They seemed to me to suggest something about the psyche um, of the Duke himself. That it, that it was, it's a completely abstract space in which kind of anything can happen. And it is only very late on that we discover that we could use the boxes in the way that we do to reveal in particular three aspects of disturbance in the Duke's personality. production shifts form as the play does and many times as we go through at one stage the Duke leads all of the characters in a kind of medieval dance of death in which he um, as, as, as a leading character is dressed as a friar and you can see many medieval drawings of uh, paintings of this and of course Bergman very famously um, uses it in his film The Seventh Seal but there is a sort of death dance that takes place through the whole play In the last act, the chorus is, as it were, dissolved into the individual personalities and how they interrelate on the arrival back of the Duke in the city, and that's suggested by um, a long red carpet down which he parades. And, and much of the last act is a great big public statement which is played out to the audience. So that when, he, when we, he, he talks about the corruption of the city, we ask ourselves, is it in fact this city? Is it in fact this state that we're talking about? So, and, we, and we bring the house lights up, so the audience is fully addressed. Um, and they have to ask themselves certain questions. <laughs> <laughs>